just when we thought the big brother Mzanzi contestant couldn't get any more exposure, boom, a brand new show. Episode one of Sesvi Gile aired and they couldn't have chosen anyone better to host the show. Saul Penduka is perfect for the show, having been someone who was a Big Brother contestant himself, former Big Brother contestant. I really think they did a good job with the host. And honestly, I didn't really know what to expect. My assumption was that they would have everybody on the show. So the Big Brother social media page, be it on Instagram or Twitter, announced that a brand new show would be launched the 29th of April at 9.30 on Channel 163. And there certain contestants would be part of the show. And I genuinely just assumed that everybody would sit together I really didn't understand what the format would be, but I was quite excited considering that we had seen the housemates in the Big Brother house, but it's like now it's the real world. They've had exposure to not necessarily to their old lives because their old life has somewhat died, but they've gained kind of like a new life with, you know, publicity and celebrity. So I really didn't know kind of what to expect. And it turns out that... It's a sit-down with housemates individually. And the first housemate being Gash won. And he came in being himself, man. Gash, Gash is just who he is. He really is so consistent. Such a consistent person. It's actually frightening that that man is not cracked under pressure once. He has been the same throughout, except I guess when he mentioned that when he initially entered the Big Brother house that he put on this facade intentionally that, you know, he's just kind of here to play the game. And then I think he let go of that persona or the facade and he was just himself. And ever since then, he's really been consistent. I I don't know that I've learned anything new about Gash on the show, says Figile. That's my only concern, I guess. I just don't know that I have learned. Okay, I might have actually because Saul and him played a game in the end. A quick fiery game, you know, with some rapid fire questions. And I guess there was like one or two things that was interesting that I learned. But I don't know, is it because the show is too short? I think Yeah, it's only 30 minutes. Or is it the format of the show? I don't know. I really don't know. I like, I must say, another thumbs up I've got to give the show is Saul being able to be himself. You know, he's the pun master. So, of course, he had to throw in a few puns here and there. So, I I like that. That was natural. That was authentic. But, of course, he still had to be a presenter, you know, with a script. So, I'm hoping that going forward, I guess things are just even more relaxed and more natural as he kind of gets used to these episodes. But I'm really, really, really proud of Saul that he managed to kind of get himself this gig and, you know, all the experiences gained ever since the Big Brother house. I guess I would have just liked a more, I want to say in-depth discussion, but I mean, I feel like it was quite in-depth initially. I just can't put my finger on what direction I thought the show was going in or the direction I would have liked the show to go in. For me, it's got to be them sitting together. And I really was anticipating a reunion after Big Brother. I needed to kind of get a feel of where all the housemates are now that they've left. And now that they've seen clips, are they upset at each other? You know, have they had hookups with one another after the show? You know, I would have really liked to see that energy, just that kind of... Oh, organic energy following a show or a season finale because I swear my experience with reunions is that people always come back looking angrier than they were in the finale and I'm always just left here like huh but Cash I really wish him all the best I mean he mentioned quite a few things that he's got his businesses that he's working on 
as Saul was, you know, engaging him. And him and Tato seemed to be quite fine. He spoke about Tato. So, well, according to Twitter streets anyway, that was evident from the beginning that they are still very much together, which is quite nice to witness. And we always wish them the best and a long-term healthy just super fun and loving relationship moving forward. And I really just want a lot of opportunities for Gash. He's, he's a very underrated oak, but I think he's, he's quite powerful. And he mentioned that if, oh, apart from Po and Tato, he really would have liked Temba to take the two million. So I thought, okay, that was, that was quite interesting. But I think I, I, I think we kind of knew that though. I think he might have mentioned that in a diary session or two. But that's that on Sesvi Gile. If I were to rate the show, I would give it a fair 6 out of 10. That's fair, right? 6 out of 10. We'll see as the show goes on. And I just, yeah, it's, it's the first time we've had Big Brother contestants even get like a show post Big Brother. So, I mean, super big ups to them. And I don't know, there's just something about this year's contestants. They're just soaking up the publicity. And I, I'm i really happy for them. And I just wonder what it is about this season that has people kind of gushing over the contestants. I don't know if it's because we haven't had a season in so many years. Or is it the contestants themselves? Either way, I really, really hope to see them on our screens even in future, the further future, whether it's a reality show, that would be great. Reality show would be the one for sure. But I guess one thing at a time, if you watch the show, very interested to hear what your thoughts are on the show. And as always, thank you so much for listening.